Hey, it's Rachel. Quick update on the experiment that I did in the bed behind me. I will put a link here to the video with the full description of what I did. Short version, I used a heavy layer of dry leaves under a then subsequent heavy snowfall to shield the crops in this bed behind me during an incredibly brutal cold snap that we had over the winter. It worked. Let me show you the exact results of what I had in this bed now that we are back to non-polar vortex temperatures. My first step was to remove my row cover and then use a rake to gently remove the top layer of leaves from the bed. Starting on the carrot side, you can see here, it's still dry. So we had several inches of snow and then several inches more of rain, but these lower levels stayed completely dry and that means they stayed insulated. And as you can see, the little carrots are still green and alive down here. So I'm gonna finish clearing off the whole rest of this bed. I switched to using my hands and continued down the bed. This is because I accidentally raked up at least one baby carrot and I got worried about damaging things. It's a lot of work to do this by hand, but it's kind of zen and it's definitely worth it. These are the carrots fully uncovered. You can see row one, row two, row three. I've left a little bit of leaves in between the rows. It can break down and act as mulch, but there's a lot of little green leaves there. Overall, carrots, success. Moving to the second side of the bed, I had lower hopes here because the crops were more cold hardy, especially the ones down at this end, which included things like arugula that aren't especially resistant to cold. In this area, I had kind of laid down these sort of sheets of material that were compacted in my bags of leaves. And my goodness, arugula, the arugula survived. That gave me hope and I continued down the bed. I had to do this side entirely by hand because this was full of existing plants and the leaves were just mixed in amongst them. A rake wasn't an option, but again, worth it. Salad green side, not bad at all. The kale made it, onion made it, all of this arugula made it. If I zoom in, you can see there's some spinach down here. It not only made it, but actually looks better than before this treatment happened. And even my little lettuces that were in there made it. Pretty happy with this. I mean, a little worse for wear, for sure. A little sad, but they made it. Kale, all alive. And the chard down here, also alive. So quite happy with this outcome. For once, I think I had a fully successful experiment. And if you're wondering what I was gonna do with these big mounds of wet leaves. Um, <laughs> I mean, I was wondering the same, but found a good uses for them. I packed these CMU blocks absolutely jam full of leaves. And the reason is my plan in the long term on all of these beds is to plant perennial pollinators all along those blocks. So things like sweet alyssum or um, stilby. And this leaf matter can break down as leaf mold and fill those blocks for free. So I think every year as I do this with my early spring beds, slowly all of these blocks are going to get full of leaf mold and that will form the basis for my future pollinator plants. Excited about that. That's it, quick one. I'm glad that I did this, I recommend it. It was free, it was not that hard to do. It's kind of annoying to go through and remove the leaves afterwards, but otherwise this one was easy and I will probably do it every year going forward whenever we have cold weather in the forecast. The only quote unquote problem I have now is that because everything in this bed survived, I have to redesign my plan for the early spring crops and that'll be the next video. Until then, I hope everybody is enjoying the start of the growing season. Thanks, bye.